You're in a car, speeding down the highway, flat out. You glance in your rearview mirror, and you see it. Something is gaining on you, something not made of metal. This is the story of the dinosaur that could outrun a modern car. Imagine a world 70 million years ago, vast open plains, herds of dinosaurs grazing peacefully. But then, the ground begins to tremble. Not from an earthquake, from footsteps, a shadow falls over the herd. It's a predator, but not just any predator. This one is built for one thing, impossible speed. Meet the Carnotaurus. Its name means Mediating Bull. Two sharp horns jut out from above its eyes. A massive skull filled with blade-like teeth, but its real terror wasn't its bite. It was its legs. Scientists studied its fossilized leg bones, its powerful tail muscles, its unique ankle structure. What they found was terrifying. Most giant predators, like T. rex, were powerful but relatively slow. They were the tanks of the prehistoric world. But Carnotaurus was different. It was a fighter jet. Its legs had an enormous codifemoralis muscle, the main engine for running in dinosaurs. This muscle was so huge, it made its tail thick and rigid, acting like a perfect counterbalance. The calculations were made, the numbers were crunched, and the results were chilling. Carnotaurus could reach speeds of up to 50 miles per hour, or 80 kilometers per hour. That's faster than the speed limit on most highways, faster than the fastest human alive. It could close a football field in under five seconds. A blur of horns, teeth, and muscle. It didn't stalk its prey. It didn't ambush. It simply ran it down in a terrifying straight-line pursuit across the plains. There was no escaping. Once it had you in its sights, you were already dead. But here's the twist. For all its terrifying speed, it had one bizarre weakness. Its arms. They were so tiny, so comically small, they were practically useless. They had no wrists, no function. So how did it kill? It didn't need to. It would use its massive skull and horns like a battering ram, smashing into its victims at full speed. So you're back in that car. That shape in your mirror gets closer. You see the glint of horns. You slam your foot on the gas, but it's no use. It's right behind you now. The shadow covers your car. And then, dot dot dot, impact. This wasn't a hunt, it was a collision. And for its prey, it was the last thing they ever felt. But the Carnotaurus wasn't the only speed demon. Deep in the jungles, something even faster was hiding in the shadows, something that hunted in packs, 